Thanks for staying with us. Partly to mostly cloudy skies across the region. Temperature is a mix of mostly 40s, but some upper 30s in the uh, northeastern counties. Bemidji 37, Roseau 39, 47, and Grand Forks 47. Also here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Winds, they've been out of the south today on the breezy side at times, and they'll continue out of the south primarily around 5 to 15 miles per hour as we head through the overnight hours. I mentioned the clouds, and we've got quite a bit of cloud cover out there. We may see a few breaks in the clouds for a while, and then more clouds upstream and underneath those clouds. We do have some rain showers, and it looks like the Northern Valley has a chance for a few sprinkles and rain showers as we head through the overnight hours. There are the rain showers off to the west. Those extend all the way back into parts of eastern Montana, and that's the activity that will slide across the northern parts of the state very late tonight, very early tomorrow morning. Getting on out of here by tomorrow morning, we should see plenty of sunshine as we head through the day tomorrow, but some breezy west to northwest winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour with some stronger gusts. That activity extends all the way back into parts of the Pacific Northwest, some lower elevation rain, some higher elevation snows, especially in western Montana, off towards the east, some rain in West Virginia, Virginia, and parts of the mid-Atlantic states, and not a whole lot of sunshine today in the sunshine state of Florida. A lot of rain continues to fall over parts of that peninsula. For us, I mentioned the rain chances and watch them develop as we head through the overnight hours tonight. Here come the rain showers, and they'll slide off toward the east. May see an isolated sprinkle or two as far south as the I-94 Highway 10 corridor, but the better chances will be well off towards the north. By tomorrow morning, decreasing clouds, plenty of sunshine, and increasing winds as we head through the day. We'll see those winds again on the gusty side, 10 to 20 miles per hour with some stronger gusts. Highs primarily in the 50s may hang on to a few upper 40s across the far north as we head through tomorrow evening. Once we lose the heating of the day, we'll see temperatures quickly dip back down into the 30s in most locations. Now we're going to jump ahead to Friday, and this is, this is one model. Not anything is set in stone at this point, but it looks like at least parts of the region will see some heavy snow. Right now, the best chance for that will be through our southwestern counties, through our central counties, into our northeastern counties. This, this storm could shift to the north. It could shift to the south. It could be weaker. It could be stronger. Just want to stay tuned to the latest forecast as we head towards the end of this week. Suffice it to say, we're going to see some rain. We're going to see some snow. We're going to see some wind. Snow totals, well, too early to tell on that. Tomorrow morning here in the Fargo-Moorhead area, temperatures in the low 40s. And by lunchtime, we're going to warm it up into the low 50s, then top out in the upper 50s. And by 5 o'clock tomorrow, cool it back down to right around 50 degrees. Picture of the day, incredible shot of the supermoon. Thanks to Craig. This is near Pelican Lake in Minnesota. We're going to use that as the background to our seven-day forecast. And again, some decent days over the next few days before the big changes. Mid-50s on your Tuesday and Wednesday. Cooler on Thursday. The chance for a little bit of rain may be mixed with snow Thursday night, changing to all snow on Friday. Could be a significant winter storm for parts of the area. And look how cold it gets behind this system. Some low 30s over the weekend and overnight lows dipping down into the teens. So this is a storm that the, you don't want to mess around with. Just keep it tuned to the latest forecast, and we'll continue to update as we head through the rest of the week. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm. Well, fad from last year might be revived this holiday season. That's up next.